Are you sick and tired of having eggs and bacon for breakfast on keto? I know I was when I first started, so in this video I have chosen my favorite breakfast recipes from people that I've been following for years to bring to you for an alternative keto breakfast. <laughs> Now, one of the first questions I'm asked every time I get somebody to embark on a ketogenic journey is, all right, Toledo, we have it down for lunch and dinner. We're usually just sticking to proteins and salad. But what about breakfast? What if I don't wanna have eggs every single day? What else can I have? So throughout the years that I have been ketoing, I have been trying many breakfast recipes, some which I have loved, some which were a complete failure in my opinion, and some which were okay. But who am I anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Thalita from Shrinking with Keto, and throughout my ketogenic journey, I have now lost over 200 pounds and reversed my type 2 diabetes. Now, throughout this journey, I have helped and coached plenty of people reach their goal, and I hope I can do the same for you. For all the recipes that I will mention, you will find links to the recipe below so that you can try it out for yourself. Let's dive directly into my first breakfast recipe, cinnamon sugar donut muffins. Yeah, you heard me correctly. They're cinnamon sugar donut muffins. They are very yummy, and if you have a sweet tooth in the morning and you're craving that grabbing the donut while you're on the go, this is gonna be a perfect recipe for you. On a sweet tooth note, you can also try a keto lemon blueberry chia pudding. Now, I play around with the chia puddings a lot, and when I want it to be thicker in consistency or fattier or creamier because I'm just craving for it, what I do is I use heavy cream as my basis. No almond milk, nothing to water it out, just heavy cream. And one of the basic, basic chia puddings that I use all the time is I'll put the heavy cream to warm up in a pot, I'll add in my chia seeds, maybe put in some lemon zest, maybe put in some ground almonds for texture, a little bit of vanilla, and it's perfect. And it thickens up really quickly, and it's very filling. And if you're a pancake lover, all you have to do is make the recipe that I have linked right there, unless you wanna put a little twist to it and make them, hmm, chocolate keto pancakes? Yes, that's right. Some days you just want a chocolate keto pancake, and that I have included in the recipes below. Now, just as easily as I make pancakes for breakfast, and yes, keto-fied pancakes, you can also make waffles. Now, keto waffles are wonderful. All you need to do is add some butter and some sugar-free maple syrup, and you have your perfect sweet tooth breakfast. But what happens when you have your waffle maker, and you make your keto waffles, but you turn that waffle maker into a chaffle maker, which takes me to my next favorite recipe, chaffles. Chaffles are very famous in the keto community. Now you can make cheesy chaffles, sweet chaffles, salty chaffles, whatever you want. I love to use the waffle maker, the small round waffle maker to make chaffles that are salty and cheesy and use them to make, guess what? A breakfast sandwich. So all you need to do is make a couple of chaffles and then you can add your bacon, you can add your egg if you want the egg inside, some ham, maybe pickles, some tomato, and you have the perfect breakfast sandwich. Now I wanna give you all a tip. The recipe I have in the chaffles is the basic recipe of the chaffles, but you can be creative here. Now, if you want your chaffles to be sweeter, you can add some cinnamon inside the mix, some nutmeg, maybe some sweetener. If you want them to be salty, you can put some garlic powder and paprika. There is no limit to the flavors you can give your chaffles, depending what you want to use them for. But let's say you actually do love eggs, but you're just sick and tired of having them the same way. Well, the next recipes are for you. You can try a keto avocado salmon eggs benedict breakfast. I assure you, there will be nothing that you're missing from your traditional eggs benedict. Or keto pizza eggs, both which I have the recipes for right in the description of this video. But I know what you're all wondering. Okay, so we have versions of sweet breakfasts and we have versions of salty breakfasts and egg sandwich breakfasts and just any sandwich breakfast on keto, but I miss cereal. I know I miss cereal too. So my next two recipes are geared towards you. But before we get into them, let me interrupt you for a second. If this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face, come on, let's make sure it's not the last. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so that YouTube can let you know every single time I make a new video for you. And please feel free to ask me anything you want down in the comment section below. 
and I will try my best to answer every single one of your questions. So how about keto granola? Now I tried plenty of keto granola cereal recipes and the one I have linked is by far my favorite. It's filling, tasty, crunchy, and fulfilling. It will make you wonder if it's actually keto. That's how good it is. But if you're more of an oats person, well guess what? I have a recipe of keto baked oats linked for you. Now let's assume you're not so much a breakfast person, but more of a smoothie person. Well, besides the hundreds of keto smoothie recipes that you can have for breakfast and you can find everywhere, including this channel, I also have a version of a smoothie that you're gonna love. And it's the keto mocha smoothie. It's decadent, chocolatey, coffee, and dense exactly the way you want a smoothie to be. Now, if you have gotten any value out of this video, I will kindly ask you to press the thumbs up button as this helps YouTube take this content and push it out to more people that need it, just like you. So there you have it, my favorite keto breakfast recipes. And as always, chin up, or you know, the crown slips.